Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is a momentous moment in global affairs, and I think as a result, this partnership is even more consequential and more vital. Uh, today, uh, we'll discuss pressing uh, issues, uh, shared global challenges, including Russia's war against Ukraine, ending the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the climate crisis, upholding a free, open, democratic, secure, and prosperous Indo-Pacific region, uh, where the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all states is assured. Uh, we'll also talk about improving our counterterrorism cooperation and strengthening the bonds uh, between our higher education institutions. So this covers a wide range of uh, different aspects in our relationship. As we meet for the fourth time, we can take satisfaction at the extent of progress that we have made. Whether it is our $160 billion trade account, our 200,000 students, our highest recorded investment levels, or our rapidly growing energy trade, the yardsticks to measure our growing closeness tell their own story. A significant focus of our engagement pertains to the Indo-Pacific. We have seen, particularly over the last year, both an elevation and an intensification of the Quad. Our achievements in this regard have a larger resonance. Today, we will be reviewing all these matters and more. We will also be discussing contemporary developments, including obviously Ukraine, also Afghanistan, the Gulf, and the Indian subcontinent. Okay, Secretary Blinken, uh, today we are positioning the U.S. and Indian militaries to operate and coordinate closely together across all domains and increasingly across the wider Indo-Pacific, all in support of the rule of law, freedom of the seas, and regional peace and security. Those are vital principles. And now more than ever, democracies must stand together to defend the values that we all share. We all understand the challenges that we face in the Indo-Pacific. The People's Republic of China is seeking to refashion the region and the international system more broadly in ways that serve its author authoritarian uh, interests. But as we operationalize our defense agreements and take our cooperation to the next level, I believe that we can sustain and strengthen a favorable balance of power in the region. We look forward to further enhancing the depth and the scope of, of, our, of our defense cooperation to give effect to our shared vision of a free, open, inclusive, and rules-bound Indo-Pacific and the Indian Ocean region. We are working with the U.S. to develop capabilities across conventional and emerging defense domains. We have made good progress in a number of of defense cooperation activities since the visit of Secretary Austin to India in March 2021. I look forward to discussing some of these and the way forward. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.